What's up guys? New week and a new vlog. As you could see in the latest one, the garage is finished. So we can get back to work finally and work on our bikes. And today's vlog gonna be all about my RC390, the drift bike. So we have a little issue with my RC390 and with Natze. Today we're gonna try to solve it, right? Yeah, because you're drifting a lot, your bike is overheating. Okay. And today we're gonna try increase the airflow through the cooling system. That sounds exciting, right? So let's get to work. Step number one is we're gonna take down this stock fan from the air cooling. We're gonna mount these two really strong EXC Enduro fans. They should create a lot of wind through the air cooling. And we're gonna also update it with this aluminum plate. Natsa already explained me why is this good. By the way, Natsa is coming from a drift scene and he has a really crazy drift card. My opinion, the craziest drift card I ever saw. Check this. Crazy, right? That's it. Tell us why do we need to mount this aluminium plate? Yeah, that uh, aluminium plate we use to create the vacuum area. So we're gonna suck the air to yeah, the, through, through the air cooling, uh, air cooling okay. and uh, increase the airflow in a lower speed. Okay, okay, the interior sounds... it should work, right? Let's mount this and then we go, uh, then we test this. We already measured where we need to position the fence and now I need to mark where to cut the holes so the air can go through. Holes are cut, not the perfect shape. Later on, if it's working, we're gonna cut everything with the laser. But for now, it should work. And the next step is drill the holes for the fans. Tune radiator is on, all the cable is connected and ready for the first test. Let's switch the key, not so. <laughs> yeah, it's really loud, man. A it's simple it... test, if air go in the right way. Paper is sticking on the radiator. I just know it's really loud, that means for me it's pulling a lot of air through the radiator, so that's what we want. It's time for the first test, but before that we need to put the plastics and the crash cage and then the RC is ready for the proper drift test. Guys, what are you marking there? Plastic that we need to cut away to make space for the radiator. So the plastic is not hitting the radiator since we move it for 5 centimeters more to the front. Tuning is a lot of cutting, welding and I don't know what else. So let's cut some plastic. How is your feeling? It's gonna work? I have a good feeling about it. If you put your hand here while they are running, you feel the wind is coming here. Fingers crossed it's working. We put so much effort into this tuning, so let's hope. The RC is ready, right? So the updated cooling system is mounted, crash cage is on, plastics are on. Let's see if we solve the problem with the overheating. Let's go drift. 
I am ready. RC is ready. So let's see if we solve the issue with a cooling system. Last time it was holding up for around 10 minutes and then it needed to cool down so I could continue to drift. But this time I hope it's holding up for 30 minutes. So Dominic, stopwatch ready? Ready. Okay, let's rock and roll. even over 10 minutes 11.30 seconds okay for now it's working like last time the bike was switching off and we needed to wait as it's cooling down so we continue to drift let's go another 10 minutes and then we know the bike is ready for drift for the whole season rock and roll Dominic, what's the time? <laughs> One hour later. One hour later. <laughs> you see it's dark. It's working, yeah, it's getting dark. So good that we ended here with a bit of Halloween touch. And if it's already like one hour of drifting without stopping, I have a huge arm pump also. We can say RC is working. That means we're gonna shoot a lot of RC drifts in the future, right Dominic? Check. Thank you Natsa for helping me out to tune that and I hope you like this kind of technical kind of uh, vlog and we are uploading uh, drifts and tricks and uh, working in the garage every week if you are not our subscriber yet click the subscribe button and if you want to see what I did with this bike with a setup and parts and so on click the link in the description you can check it there that's it for this time and see you in the next week until then you know already right rock on <laughs>